we're really proud of how much talent and enthusiasm there is for screen culture in Western Sydney. Trop West started off as an information session to encourage Western Sydney um, people, Western Sydney screen makers, to submit their films into Tropfest and to get involved in the festival. But the response was so good in the first year. We had over a hundred people turn up and we organised it in like two weeks that uh, what we thought would be really important to do in the following year was have a more intensive event. So what we organised then was, you know, kind of a four hour intensive event where people could hear about you know, Trop Fest, see some of the films and also speak to people from the industry, from the screen industry, producers, directors, um, the screen, screen New South Wales, people who invest in films and so that's kind of how it shifted. To the young filmmakers here, I want to say welcome and wish you all the very best. All the very best as you pursue your vision and tell the stories of our street. Our concern was that we were not reaching enough diverse young filmmakers out in, in, in the, I guess, uh, Western Sydney. Um, potentially that the, the festival would only be picking up, uh, I, I guess, um, a more wealthy side of, of, of society and, and probably not picking up as many diverse uh, stories as we wanted. And uh, yeah, it's just been an extraordinary uh, partnership. I think in Australia is probably the film festival to launch careers really. I mean, look, there's so many sort of alumni that have gone on to, to bigger and better things from it. It really is one of the largest, I mean, it is the largest short film festival in the world and you can't look past that really. Um, so it's kind of like the holy grail for filmmakers to, to kind of, you know, to, to win that festival. Uh, you see filmmakers of all sorts of calibres, you know, going in it. Yeah, the one thing we walked away from that whole experience realising in our hearts was story is king. And, and as has been said many, many times today, it doesn't really matter what camera gear you're, you're using, what fancy effects you're going to throw into the film at the post-production end. We've all done that, we've all tried that. There's a time and a place for that. But when it comes down to, to winning a short film festival or, or creating a winning idea, story is king. It's got to be all about the story. I'd, I'd encourage you to think really um, creatively about that signature item. Um, you know, it can be whatever you want, but also have a think about um, how you'd want to incorporate it in a really, in a different and unique, in, new, unique way. And we also introduced the TROP West Scholarship and that was a pretty exciting thing to do as well. So it's valued at $5,000 and the idea is that we actually support an emerging or a, a filmmaker from Western Sydney to actually make a film from beginning to end and to have um, a, someone to support them that whole way through. So to actually have access to equipment, have some money to, to put into um, the film but also have a mentor. The Trop West Scholarship goes to Roxy Vong. It's just, it's, I guess it's just really overwhelming it, at the moment, it's not really sinking in, but yeah, like totally stoked, happy, excited, all these crazy adjectives, yeah. So I'll be mentoring Roxy, um, taking her through the whole process, um, you know, from script, you know, she's got an idea at the moment, so we, now we have to develop the script, um, we have to look at how we're going to shoot that within the budget, uh, how we can pull resources. And uh, Parramatta is the capital of Western Sydney. And uh, you know, capitals uh, like to get in, involved in big things, and uh, we're seeing big reputations now come through this festival. Right, and clearly Parramatta wants to be there. I think this provides a good opportunity to kind of break down those uh, misconceptions and um, and really tell some great stories out of this area because I think that you know West Sydney is just filled with great stories. Fantastic. I got to meet a lot of people and one of them was, you know, the, the Trop West um, finalist in New York that did a film from a mobile phone, which I thought was really fascinating because I never thought of the idea before doing a film on a mobile phone. So even, even we've been amazed at how successful Trop Fest has been. Last year, Morgan Rimmel, who was the project manager of Trop Fest, said to me, whatever you guys have done, you've done something right because we have seen such an increase in diverse films being submitted into Trop Fest.